our talk about abdominal pain. Types of abdominal pain. First is visceral pain. It is dull aching and poorly localized pain. It is due to distension or contraction of hollow viscous like intestine and biliary tract or stretching of capsule of solid organ like liver. Second is parietal pain. It is caused by irritation or inflammation of parietal peritoneum. It is more intense and localized pain. Usually, abdominal pain begins as a visceral pain. Then as disease progresses, pain becomes more intense and localized due to irritation of parietal peritoneum. So it is becomes parietal pain. For example, in acute amenticytes, pain begins around umbilicus. Then as disease progresses, and the irritation of parietal peritoneum occur, so parietal pain will be felt at the right uh, lower quadrant area of the abdomen. Third is referred pain. It is pain felt at a site other than that stimulated, but in an area supplied by the same or adjacent neural segment. For example, in biliary tract disease like acute cholecystitis, pain may be referred to right intrascapular, intrascapular or right shoulder. Also, in mucoidal ischemia, uh, pain can be felt at mid epigastric or neck or jaw or upper extremity. Fourth is psychogenic pain. There is no organic cause, but may be due to changes in the tone or motility of GIT. Causes of abdominal pain may be intra-abdominal causes or extra-abdominal causes. As regards intra-abdominal causes, we can divide abdomen into four quadrants and mention the cause according to the anatomy. For example, right upper quadrant pain, like acute cholecystitis, acute hepatitis, or hepatic abscess, and so on. Right lower quadrant pain, like appendicitis. Left upper quadrant pain, like gastritis or acute pancreatitis. Left lower quadrant pain, like diverticulitis. Abdominal pain may be diffuse, as in peritonitis or acute pancreatitis or gastroenteritis. As regards extra abdominal causes of abdominal pain, may be systemic causes like diabetic ketoacidosis, uremia, sickle cell disease, uh, systemic globus erythematosus, vasculitis, and so on, or toxic cause or thoracic cause like myocardial infarction or unstable angina, may be pneumonia or pulmonary embolism, may be gen uh, genital urinary uh, cause uh, like renal colic, may be infectious or uh, maybe abdominal wall cause like muscle spasm or muscle hematoma or herpes zoster. Causes of acute abdominal pain may be medical causes or non-surgical causes and surgical causes. For medical causes of acute abdominal pain like acute myocardial infarction, uh, diaphragmatic pylorzy, basal pneumonia, uh, diabetic ketoacidosis, uh, familial Mediterranean fever, hemolytic, uh, hemolytic crisis, sickle cell anemia, herpes zoster, abdominal epilepsy, and psychogenic. Diagnosis of abdominal pain, thorough clinical history, and the detailed physical examination should be taken. During history, we should ask about site, reference, onset course, duration, character, severity, factors that increase or decrease abdominal pain, frequency, and associated symptoms. For physical examination, we stress on general appearance, vital signs, uh, not forget the examination of the abdomen, back, pelvic, genital, rectal, head to toe examination. Abdominal or local examination, inspection, searching for scars, masses, ecchymosis, distension, auscultation of uh, bowel sounds and bruit, percussion for uh, organomegaly and dullness, Balbation for uh, tenderness, gardening, rebound, referred pain, and masses. Don't forget genital, rectal, and pelvic and back examination. Investigation searching for the cause of abdominal pain. Laboratory study, like uh, complete blood picture searching for blood disease, urine analysis uh, searching for uh, urine tract uh, affection, test for pregnancy, amylase, lipase, or blood uh, glucose searching for uh, acute uh, pancreatitis, and others. ECG searching for cardiac cause, radiological studies, or GIT endoscopies searching, searching for uh, GIT disorders. Thank you.